All right, guys, Dr. Dogris back and Josh here. We got my brain scan results. I just got hooked up for the past hour. I'd love to see what uh, what happened here. Yeah, what we were looking for was we want to kind of establish what your brain looked like. And this specific uh, test that we do really does help people understand the really what's happening at the physiological level and the, and the neurological level. And then also how does the phone in, let's say, EMR, EMF really affect that and just disrupt that. And then demonstrating the effect that the Aries product actually does to mitigate that. The EEG is a uh, great device for measuring the electrical output of the brain. And so we put a 19 channel cap on your head and we did three recordings. The first was a baseline so we can just get an idea of what you look like right when you walk in. Second one was a recording after you had been exposed to a live phone for five minutes. The third one was a, another recording after you had been exposed to a live phone that had Aries protection on it. Mm -hmm. And I conducted a comparison analysis between these records to see what changed. How old are you? 28. Yeah, so this is the, the, the LF band represents the sympathetic arm of the autonomic nervous system. The HF band represents the parasympathetic arm. Mm -hmm. Sympathetic is your get up and go, parasympathetic is relaxing. That is healthy as healthy can be. Nice. Your heart rate variability is killer. Uh, the SDNN is 94.64. Normal is 50 milliseconds. Damn. When the phone is active, you went into sympathetic dominance. And look what happened to your SDNN. It, 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 Spiked. Went to 120. What's that? Uh, that's really high. That's not good. That's too high. Just from being on the phone. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Hey, what? You know, we think about it, it wasn't that long, right? Yeah, it was like, like five, five minutes. minutes. Uh, that's, that's not good. So if a person stays in uh, a sympathetic, this, this is almost a two to one ratio there. When you see a two to one ratio like this. Um, it can, it's a vigilance profile. It's what we see in people that get diagnosed with PTSD. Jeez. And so if, if you get sophisti you know, sufficiently traumatized, the body keeps the score. It doesn't matter what your brain says. It doesn't matter what it thinks. The body's gonna be vigilant. It's gonna stay on guard. And that's what it looks like when it, when it does that. That's with Aries protection. Holy. So it swung it the other way. Yo, right? That. That's crazy. And your heart rate variability returned to 74. Damn. So it came back down to normal. It's that strong, huh? Mm -hmm. I need to get the, the one on my phone. There you go, uh, man. See, that's, that's, that's it. It's like mic drop. You know, mm -hmm. you can pretty just walk out of the room. Now. Yeah, that's like, nuts. But it is interesting how different people respond to the cell phone or just EMF and how dramatic it is. And then, in dramatic, but it can be in different ways. It's it makes of, me wonder about the impact on the DNA, right? It's happening it, in real it's time. It's happening mm -hmm. in real time. And, and data is starting to come out yeah. talking about the anxiety generation. Mm. And, you know, people in their 20s that have early exposure to, you know, screens at a young age, yeah. social media at a young age, you know, stuff like that. And what was the impact, you know? But if you look at EMF exposure, um, you know, the first cohort to be exposed to it probably didn't have too much of a response yeah. because they didn't have any previous responses. But DNA is smart. It knows how to adapt. The body's adaptive. So if, it, if it's put in a state where it's in danger, it's going to respond and it's going to change itself hmm. to be able to survive. 